morning. Morning. This is uh, what it is. Uh, this is Wednesday. No, it's not. It's Thursday. I was supposed to be here yesterday, but it's when, uh, Thursday morning, and this is my Wednesday office on a Thursday. So this is um, a prunus. It's a ornamental pr um, ornamental plum, and it actually died, and it was hollow. We took it down about I don't know how many years ago three or four years ago, maybe five years ago. And that's the root and, and the trunk. And it, it goes down into the ground, that hole, um, probably about four or five foot. Um, and that there is a sucker off that actual tree. And I left it in um, and it's beautiful, <laughs> really beautiful. So I'm glad I left it. Um, as I say, this is my Wednesday office. This is a, a skimmia. The skimmia is in flower. It's got the flower on us here. But it's also got the berries in. So the berries have already fallen. Um, I'll go back this way. There's lots of uh, shrubs in that, and I prune them so that they're different shapes. Um, we've got lots of daffodils and narcissi. Uh, forget me nots. Forget me nots are one of my favourites because they're so well tempered. They come up, they're easy to weed out, they've got a very shallow root. They're beautiful colours, mauves, purples, yellows, yellow centre in them, it makes them pop out, makes them stand out really, really pretty, I think. Anyway. All these other things here, I'm just going to zoom in. These are aquilegias, and aquilegia is another beautiful spring flower. That They're very easy to grow. Once you've got them, you're going to have them forever. Um, and uh, because they just reproduce loads of seeds and they grow off the seeds and the root stays for a few years and they grow really well. There's foxgloves in this bed. There's uh, black currants, gooseberries, I've got three gooseberries on the front, um, a red currant on the end here um, and then two black currants there and then a row of raspberries and the raspberries are late summer. Um, and so yeah, very nice. As I say, lots of things are pruned and trimmed. There's a, I can't remember what this is called, but it's got slight scent to it. It's like a Wygelia like. I'm not saying it is a Wygelia. A canthus in the corner. This is actually a Hebe that I've hacked right back, but I hacked it back so that you could see everything else in the bed. Um, there's my kneeling mat and my little, I don't know what this is called, but it's absolutely fantastic. It's got like a little, um, dandelion digger on the end. I put a cutting of rosemary in over there and that's a, a baby hydrangea that I planted last end of last year and at the back there it's an echium. But I'm th I think it's called white tower um, and it's a white flowering one. There's the odd um, hyacinth, there's all this stuff. Um, it's at euphorbia. If you break it off and it, it gets a sap on you it kind of burns you, so don't get sap on you. There's another hydrangea that I planted in there last year. Um, again, euphorbia all the way around. There's some bluebells coming up. I think they're actually the Spanish... Well, I'm not too sure. I'm not going to say that now, because whatever. Um, I'll just go around here. We've got a heavenly flower. We've got uh, daffodils. We've got hyacinths. And we've got grape hyacinths, narcissi, um, more heathers. They all go well together. I think that's... Um, that's a lungwort or something. Um, it's got a nice, pretty flower. The hyacinths are amazing, absolutely amazing this year. The scent of them is is everywhere. As you're walking around, you can smell them. And as you, as I'm weeding, I go around and I hand weed this garden, and it's just amazing the scent. I cut the um, hydrangeas all back, deadheaded them. I only did it sort of, I don't know, either last week or the week before. Um, I like to leave the heads on because it breaks up the frost um, and stops the, the plant getting cold, don't really know what I mean. It protects the top of the plant. So I've only just pruned them back and they're all coming into bud rather well. At the back there, there's a... It looks like a mess, basically. It's a little nest that's built in amongst uh, those celandine. And that's the celandine, one of my favourite weeds. Um, it's like a little buttercup flower but it's more well-behaved, and I leave them in for... Anyway, I've spoken about that before. In the uh, little nest, there's a um, one of my chicken orchids. Well, I call them chicken orchids. I'm sure they've got a proper name. And there's loads of things, so more daffodils. I'm just taking you for a wander around to share this beautiful Wednesday office. 
Um, daffodils everywhere, everywhere there's daffodils and hyacinths. Um, uh, the pentamens will come back and this, uh, so many things in flowers, so spring-like. Spring is springing and sprung. It's just hyacinths dotted about over the years as, as the customer has been giving them for, for the Christmas presents and birthdays and things like that, I should think. I've just planted them in. Some of them are sort of a bit sporadic and planted wherever. And some of them are planted properly. There's a lot of um, primroses, these primroses as well, proper primroses. And there's loads around the pond here, which is really nice. Again, beautiful spring flowers. Hebe's. This is another Hebe here, purple, and there's another one there. Um, again, the roses are just coming into leaf. This one's that little purple one. I'll show you when it is in flower. Um, there's a camellias behind. There's a pink one and a darker pink there. Got lots of azaleas as well. Tulips are just coming through them. Beautiful. If you like tulips, I mean, the scent in here, you're, it's a shame that it doesn't have smell of vision because it is absolutely wonderful scent. Again, tulips coming up, and I'm just here to weed through. And it's a weird thing when you're a gardener. Some of the gardens, there's so much in it that you can't really see the weeds, but they are there. And if you let them take over, well, then you, then you're stuck, aren't you? With loads of weeds. So yeah, I'm just gonna. I think this is the end of the tour. There's a wygelia there, just coming into leaf. More hebes, and I've sort of plonked them together, so plonked them, that's not the right word. There's a load of, uh, load of things underneath as well. Periwinkle and things like that. More hebes. More of this yellow, like sweet pea flower. Onto, uh, which, which all backs onto my laurel hedge, which I've had down through there. I planted only a few years ago. Um, when the wall fell down, we, I, I refixed the wall on the outside. Um, I refixed it. it. It collapsed and crushed my foot a bit. Doesn't matter. Anyway, <coughs> it doesn't matter, but here we are. Um, but I rebuilt the wall, and so there we are. I think that'll do. Hope everyone's well. Nice one. Cheers.